we hope that both of them come back to Country Roads, West Virginia, <laughs> Mountain Mama, just a little bit. You know, we'd love to see them. Oh, I know, no, no, where I want to be. You know, you're proud of West Virginia and where you've come from, and, it, and it's everybody's proud of where they've come from and their home, and, and uh, it creates a spirit in you and you know, revives your spirit, what you want to do. You know, where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> It's just like a dream. We just, we've always had a great relationship, and Stephanie, or John, obviously, you're getting very lucky, but Stephanie, I want you to know that you're getting very lucky too. John's a great guy. He's, a gen he's one of the most generous guys I've ever known. With that being said, Steph, with great honors, I give you my best friend, John. I'm so grateful for the amazing memories with you, my wonderful friend. But watching you connect with your perfect partner around a craps table is one I'm most happy for in the end. <laughs> Laura knew what she was doing, putting the two of you together as the perfect match. Often a third wheel in your journey, seeing you two grow into such an amazing couple has been wonderful to watch. Is love good all the time? No, no. Love can be bad. Bad love. <laughs> Very bad love. Love makes messes. Love leaves you little surprises here and there. Love needs lots of cleaning up after. Sometimes you want to get love fixed. Sometimes you want to roll up a newspaper, piece of newspaper and swat love on the nose. But most of all, love needs love, lots of it. And in return, love loves you and never stops. Stephanie is the self-proclaimed queen of many things. <laughs> she is the queen of camp, the queen of NASCAR, the queen of anything she wants. <laughs> Throughout it all, she's always been there for each of us. We, we love you and we are so happy that you found each other. So everyone, please ra raise your glasses to Stephanie and Bayless. <laughs> Clearly, we've already noticed, we know, Bayless got to spend Christmas with us. <laughs> Bayless is an only child. <laughs> Stephanie comes from a group of four. One clearly notices the differences when one is used to quiet time versus <laughs> chaos going on. But he seemed to manage that. So I think, you, I think you can handle it. Be compassionate, understanding, and I know I can tell my children, all of my children this, Communicate, communicate, communicate. <laughs> Bayless, welcome to the family. Wonderful day, full of happiness, beauty, and love, just perfect. It almost predestined, according to their friends, <laughs> who uh, one Laura particularly, who just knew that Stephanie and Jonathan were just right for each other. Well, this is the first time where I've been a sort of a matchmaker. Well. So, and obviously it worked. So today means a lot because they are dear, special friends to both my husband and I, and I just couldn't be happier for them. Stephanie has two little dimples, and when she smiles, the whole room lights up. 
Because I said, I have to work with you. She has that type of a personality. When she's in a room, you know she is in a room. When you get married, can we get married? He was such a great guy and a great friend and I wanted to introduce him to someone special and when I met Stephanie I knew she'd be great for him but she had a few other things going on at the time so um, it took a couple years but then I finally was able to introduce them. I think she sees his kind nature and his warm heart, how genuine he is. I think he sees her spunk, really love that she has for others. Never sat quiet. Yes, she did not sit quietly. Uh, she was always loud. She was all always into things. She's my pixie. She's a little pixie that lives under a mushroom. And vice versa, it, wor it works both ways. But so the best way you know is it just, and how do I know she's right there? It just, she smiles, she's happy, she's radiant. Laura's over there. No, Laura's at the house. She's back at camp. So to watch her and really have found somebody, a partner to rely on, so that's when you know we've got the right person. She didn't want to go get a wedding dress. I did not I want like, to get a wedding dress. We're going to get a wedding dress. So we went um, <laughs> to Van Cleef and Paoli. And this is the one that we decided on. It doesn't matter. We walked out of the store having decided. Yes, we did. I can't put it on. Somebody needs to come over here. <laughs> That's you, yeah. Mom or sister? Mom, mom without glasses. Mommy doesn't have her glasses on. Okay, we'll the back of my head that Bayless and Stephanie would be in that. <laughs> After a few broken hearts, call it fate, destiny, or whatever you like, my plan was coming together. In the fall of 2011, I told her while sitting by a campfire in Talladega, Alabama, <laughs> that I had a great guy for her and his name was Bayless. She looked at me like I was crazy and said at that moment, no, she wasn't ready and I wasn't ready to give up. It's not that bad for her, it's living, you know, not very gay or anything, just uh, Just her. The man shoot it all the way. Ray-Bans. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> Tiffany's coupling. A few months later, while in Daytona, Florida, yes, a lot of our stories revolve around NASCAR tracks. The race was postponed due to rain. She and I were sitting on the back of the golf cart waiting for her mom to talk to every person in the garage. I quickly noticed that Bayless was walking towards us. I quickly introduced the two as we exchanged all shucks for the bad weather. It's 
big, that's how you want it. This guy who did my suit, he did a pretty damn good job. Yeah. <laughs> drove off, Stephanie said, I knew that was Bayless because of how excited you got. <laughs> I asked if she was ready because I would love to arrange for them to meet and hang out in the next couple of weeks at the next race, of course. She finally obliged. And my heart was full, and again, my plan was coming together. I just had to convince the other party. Boys are so easy. <laughs> I told Bayless that I had a great girl for him, the girl on the golf cart. I gave him strict instructions not to meet anyone in Phoenix because I wanted to hook them up in Vegas. We pause at the threshold of your new life to give honor to the most powerful presence in the world, a presence that can create everything that is, save everyone who's ever lived, but a power that's so subtle. They can draw two people out of six billion people together so they can no longer see their lives separate from one another, but only together. It's a subtle power that can begin in a rainstorm at a race, a casual meeting that leads into a friendship. And a long-term relationship. And a long hike in the Austrian mountains with a ring burning a hole in somebody's pocket. Until you reach the fairy falls and the commitment becomes real as you propose and you say yes and enter into a different phase of your life. So this powerful force has been so subtly working, intertwining your lives and hearts and drawing you together so that the two really will become one new creation. And in the presence of this power, we make promises. Not childish promises that we can take or leave at will, but promises that require our hearts and our minds and our wills to bring about, to continue to feed the love that you already share. Together, you are all I need. My heartbeat, heartbeat. You've made a promise that you'll put one another first, that you will forsake all others, that you will have your relationship as husband and wife as a primary one. Ahead of family, ahead of friends, ahead of work. We all have made a promise, laughingly, that we'll do all we can to support you in your new life. Intertwine your hearts and lives so that you may become this new creation that God has called you to be. So as we step over the threshold into your new life, I invite you to keep your promises. We'll keep ours, and we trust and know that God will keep his. Amen. Bayless, you bring out so many of our favorite things in Steph. We love seeing how happy she is and the two of you are. There's no doubt in my mind that your love will only grow as you two conquer the world near and far. Now, <laughs> So take good care of her, Bayless. You better be good. Do everything for her. We're sure that you would. About our love for Steph, we could be more ex effusive. Just remember, Bayless, your marriage, our friendship, not mutually exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> Bayless, you're marrying our dear friend, and just as she does, we love you. We wish you love, laughter, and success, and happiness in all that you live through. In the name of God. I, Jonathan, take you, Stephanie. I, Jonathan, take you, Stephanie, to be my wife. To 
have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. To help you become your best self. To help you become your best self. To grow more deeply in love every day. To grow more deeply in love every day. To be there for you always. To be there for you always. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. The ceremony was great. It was beautiful. It was definitely um, Stephanie and Bayless. It was short and sweet. It was perfect for them. And both of them had the biggest smiles on their faces that I have ever seen them. In the name of God. I, Stephanie, take you, Jonathan. I, Stephanie, take you, Jonathan. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. To help you become your best self. To help you become your best self. To grow more deeply in love every day. To grow more deeply in love every day. To be there for you always. To be there for you always. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. The sun shining. Until you die. Until you die. <laughs> The weather predictions all day long was thunderstorms starting at four o'clock. I was like, oh no. And the, and the heavens opened up and, and it was a light breeze and a beautiful day and it's been that way and I think that's a sign. Stephanie, I give you this ring. It's a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you in the name of God. I honor you in the name of God. <laughs> Jonathan, I give you this ring. Jonathan, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And with all that I have. I honor you in the name of God. I honor you in the name of God. You may kiss one another as husband and wife. Can you take your glasses off? <laughs> Why? Mm. I love you. Silver moons and paper dreams, faded maps and shiny things. You're my favorite one man show. A million different ways to go. We're a close family, we don't always agree, but there is very much a bond of love and uh, respect and just, and, and joy and a lot of fun. They, they have fun together and that's very special. And, and Stephanie and her siblings are very close. It's, it's a wonderful family. Just knew it was not going to rain. I don't know why, but I just felt it, it couldn't rain. <laughs> and even if it did, it was not going to be rain. It's exactly what Stephanie was looking for. She wanted a, a semi, sort of a beach wedding, but not on the beach. Take me away with you, my love. But she wanted a, the kind of informality, but with tradition, and that, I think, is what we have. We went to lunch. She just lit up the room, you know, walked in, and they started bantering back and forth. It was fabulous, you know. It's like Jonathan, he, he, was, he was enjoying this little uh, pinpricks here and there <laughs> and so forth from her. She understands him, he understands her, and they can banter back and forth. And, and that's a great start to relationship. I think that um, a lot of us joke and tease Stephanie about her traits as being, you know, maybe bossy or a leader or loud. And, 
Um, it doesn't seem as though Bayless ever has a negative thing to say about Stephanie's traits. It's always he sees the, the positive in her and you can just see how much um, he adores her when he looks at her and, and clearly um, has found his match. Take me away with you, my love. But the most wonderful thing is to see that you're radiant, you're happy, you're excited, and in love. These are all the good signs that the mother could ask for. This day is special and really just so special to see my eldest daughter be so happy and to have found somebody that really seems to be the right match for her. You really feel, it makes it really easy to kind of send them on their journey and just say, go off. Just to see her happy. I really, you just have such confidence and it's so easy to just relax. There's total peace, relaxation, She's in good hands, she's happy. It's gonna be a great relationship, and they'll have their ups and downs, but that, that's okay. You're just, I'm relaxed. I think that's the thing, I'm relaxed, I'm not worried. First one, always buy the extended warranty. Exactly. Most important one is just love her. Love her with all you've got. Everything will be fine. Green, green, green. May you have many clean air rides and very few cautions in your life. Apparently not uh, all of his friends and Stephanie's family, everyone calls him Bayless. So I have assumed a new identity too this weekend, which is Bayless's mom. He's always been a quiet person, but over the years it's progressed. He's very outgoing now and he just, his whole face lights up with a smile. I know it's the real thing for them both. We wish them, you know, health, wealth, wisdom in all they do. And, and today is the first day of their destiny. I would like, I hope to see a, a great partnership and a loving relationship that brings out the best in each one of them. That, I think, is the, the, the best you can ask for. Two weddings in one year, I'm done now, for a while, please. But they've been great. I've got two happy daughters. What else can I ask for? I think they're ready to, to get on with the next chapter of their lives. We love Stephanie and welcome her into our small family. I see a lifetime of adventures all over the world, um, a very happy family with loving parents that show their kids the world and also continue to bring out the best in each other as long as um, they live. As Stephanie's three younger siblings, we're standing up here to toast our big sister and her new husband. It's truly amazing to see how happy you two make each other. It's really something special. <laughs> so please, everyone raise your glasses to Stephanie and Bayless, wishing them a lifetime together full of love, happiness, health, and good memories. Let's eat some cake! Woo! I hear a voice in the morning I call.
She definitely is a talented one. I really hope I see um, some kids in their future to catch up with um, mine that I have on the way. I just hope for lots of double dates and hanging out with our kids and just being friends. Bark a little bit. <laughs> love, love, love. As Stephanie, <laughs> as Stephanie's three younger sisters, nope. <laughs> Sibling. I've been drinking. <laughs> Not that either. Kind of on the pipe. Yes, I saw you on the pipe. That was quite something. Okay. <laughs> Too many bald heads in this room. <laughs> if I cry, we're gonna have makeup problems. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, honey. Can't read the next part.